Problem number 42 of section 4.3 is an application of what's known as Torricelli's law, which gives um, the rate of flow of water um, out of a hole in the bottom of a container. Um, and its model, the differential equation uh, known as Torricelli's law is dv dt equals negative a, where a is the um, area of the hole in the container, times the square root of 2gy, where g is gravitational constant. And y is the height of the water above the hole. And v, of course, is volume. So now we're assuming that if the container is a right circular cylinder of radius 2 meters, and a is equal to negative 0.1 meters squared, uh, what is v now as a function of y? So as a function of the height of the water. So we can uh, write a relation of between v and y as well, v is equal to. Um, area of the base, so pi times r squared, which r is 2, so this will be 4 times pi. Uh, so pi r squared times the height. Well, height is just going to be y. So we can rearrange this and say that y is equal to uh, v over 4 pi. Now, part b asks us to uh, find a separable differential equation based on uh, what we just found in part a. Now we know that uh, dv dt is equal to negative a times the square root of 2gy. This is just going to be negative a times square root of 2g, now times the square root of y, we know that y is equal to v over 4 pi. So this is just going to be square root of v over 2 times the square root of pi. Now, uh, this is definitely separable. We only have uh, v on the right hand side. So now we can rearrange this and actually solve this. Um, Using the initial, solve this differential equation and using the initial condition, uh, volume at time zero is equal to 100 cubic meters. So let's rewrite uh, the equation moving the v over to the left hand side. So we have dv over square root of v, and that will be equal to negative a times square root of 2g over. 2 times the square root of pi. Now, if we integrate both sides, this will give us, well, we can rewrite this as the integral of v to the negative 1 half dv is equal to negative, that should be dt up here, negative the integral of a square root 2g over 2 times the square root of pi dt. Now, the antiderivative of v to the negative 1 half, we can just apply the power rule for antiderivatives, and we find that we get v to the 1 half, and divide by the new power, which is, so divide by 1 half, or multiply by 2, and that'll be equal to negative, now, if we actually compute the numerical value there, substituting in uh, 0 0.1 for a, find that this is approximately negative uh, 0 0.195. And of course, we have a t there, plus c. So, uh, actually, now if we solve for v, we get uh, one half. I just remember that the this numerical value is actually one half. Um, it's actually one half of this quantity here. So if we solve for v, we end up with v uh, to the one half is equal to negative 0 0.195t plus c, which means that v is equal to negative 
0 0.195 t plus c squared. Now, we use the information given in the initial value part of the problem to determine the value of c. Now, v of 0 we know is 100, but we also know that um, v at 0 is going to be just well, 0 plus c squared. So c must be equal to 10. Now, um, right, so we can write the final form of our differential equation as v equals negative 0 0.195 t plus 10 quantity squared. So this is the specific solution to the initial value problem uh, where the initial volume is 100, meter, or 100 cubic meters. Now we want to know at what time will the tank be empty. Now this is just a simple application of the quadratic formula and you know it gets a little messy but just put in the numbers you'll find that um, t is equal to about 51 seconds and that's found just by setting v of t equals zero and expanding the uh, formula that we just found for v of t.